So today I wanted to get a session out of the way super early, so I'm here at Costa Mesa Park to just get an early session. I mean, it's not that early, it's 11, but I'm skating first thing right away today. So I'm calling the session because I have to actually go home and let Joanne out. Really good way to start the day. Really good session. Productive, if anything. And I am now back in my office. Yes, this little corner in my house is my office. Basically what I have been doing is cleaning the entire house. The house was a mess, so I had to clean it. Um, but don't worry, I'm going to leave my house again and we are gonna do something interesting. Today is just gonna be Basically super vloggy, very day in the life, like what I'm doing today. I don't really have any ideas planned. I'm just gonna go about my day. I wanna take some photos, so I think I might go downtown or go somewhere pretty to get some shots. But I wanted to ask you guys, should I make different colors in the Slammin' t-shirt? I was thinking about pink, but I don't know. What do you guys want? If you guys want a specific color, comment below and I will select the majority color to be the next color of the t-shirt. Alright, so you boys checking his post office. His P.O. box, I should say. I called it a post office. I feel like an idiot. And another one. So, only two more zines got sent back to me, and they're all shipped out, so I guess that's a good sign. After shipping out as much as I did, and as many as people bought, which is insanely awesome, um, I only got like five sent back to me, so that's sick. But uh, Perry Bauer and Raffaella Basili, if that's how you pronounce those names, your zines got sent back to me, so if you're watching, send me an email. I will also reach out to you guys and try and email you so you, I can get a correct address to send these zines to. I emailed someone else and he still hasn't responded, so I would love to get him his zine. So please email me. I think his name is Jake Hilsebeck. Please email me. Okay, so I'm in downtown Huntington Beach and I'm here, I'm gonna take some photos. I'm gonna shoot some more film photos. But I wanna talk a lot about film uh, right now for this next, for the rest of the vlog probably. Specifically, how I shoot film, how I load film. A lot of people have been asking me that for a long time and I've really put it off. I'm not sure why, but I have. So I'm gonna tell you how and show you how. So, I've been shooting film for about two years this is my Minolta SRT 101. I've mentioned it several times in a vlog, but I think there's a lot of new uh, subscribers here within the last month or so. So yeah, this is what I shoot on, an SRT 101. This is what all of my images and my zine were shot on. Now, to be perfectly honest with you, I am no expert at photography. Photography is a hobby and art slash craft that I enjoy doing. It's a roll of film, 400TX, this is black and white negative film. I wanna get into shooting more black and white because when you push black and white film, it comes out really contrasty and really cool looking. So I wanna shoot some more of that. This is how you load it. So you open up the back, you pull up your lever. Most film cameras should have a lever like this, I believe, and it opens the back. This is where you load the film. You make sure this is pulled all the way up so the film can rest in. You take your excess, oh, push this down first so the film locks in place. Then you take your excess. Your camera should have a little knot like over here for you to put your film into and then you just wind it. Or I gotta shoot it. You wind it and then it's in. Then you close it. Since that part of the roll was exposed, you gotta shoot the first couple of frames to get those 
out of the way so that you can start shooting real shots and they won't be exposed. I'm not sure if I was recording, so I'll say it again. This is 400 speed film. I pushed it to 1600 here on the dial so that I get more contrast in my shots. So I apologize in advance for all the wind noise if there is some. It's really windy down here, as always, at the beach. Um, but basically, I'm going to tell you guys about the facts about my camera. And really, I only know how to shoot on this camera. I don't have a digital camera or anything, so I've never even shot digital photos. I just started shooting film. I bought a film camera. I just started shooting from scratch, and I really enjoy it. And I've gotten good feedback on it, so I continue doing it. It's become a strong passion of mine. I'm going to just tell you what I know about this camera. So. Inside, inside my lens, there's a little needle. And then there's also a dial that I turn that has a circle. Pardon me, I don't even, honestly, I don't even know all of the correct proper terms of this camera. I believe that is my aperture. So um, I just line that circle, the dial, up with the needle, and it sets my aperture to the right lighting uh, that I'm able to shoot in. Wherever the needle is, is wherever I line up the dial and I just shoot. I'm not sure, sure how it is on Canon AE-1s. I know that's a very common and popular film camera, but um, with mine, that's how I shoot on it. It's really simple. You just line the needle up and shoot. So the thing about shooting film also is, since I kind of just shoot whatever, I don't need a... Uh, I usually only shoot in the daytime because I don't have flashes, but I don't really uh, have any kind of setup other than just the camera itself. And I just kind of observe and look around and I have this like, I'm, this is gonna sound super lame and cheesy and corny, but I have like a feeling and I just like see something and I just take a picture. Like literally, that is it. It is so simple. It's not overcomplicated at all. Like I, I like to shoot a lot of shapes and lines and um, I try to shoot I also shoot a lot of landscape stuff because it's really pretty and it always comes out awesome because Earth is beautiful. Yeah, stuff that's super contrasty. A lot of shade, a lot of shadows, a lot of lighting. I want to get more into shooting stuff like that and I do shoot a lot of stuff like that but I want to only continue to shoot more because it just looks really awesome. I like shooting stuff that looks really trippy. So what this is, Huntington Beach every single Tuesday has, what do they call them? Not a fair, I forget what they're called. Farmer's market, they have like a farmer's market thing uh, that goes on every single Tuesday, so that's what this is, that's why all these people are down here. I never ever come down here. I've said before I don't come down here because it's not really my cup of tea, but I don't know, this is kind of nice. Okay. So your boy did find this spot right here. You'll see in a second as soon as I move. These benches, bus stop ledges. So I'm gonna skate these, just get a little minor session in, and then I think we're gonna head home and I'm gonna call it a day. Flip so you can edit it in. Right, exactly. Cut up my hand just a little bit. Yeah, thank you. I'm gonna take off. All right, hey, it was good chatting with you. And I want to wrap this up by talking a little bit about the new zine that's coming out. 
Um, I've been developing a ton of roles. I picked up another role today, actually. Yeah, it's starting to really come together. So I ideally would like to have all the photos for it by sometime near the end of May, and then hopefully drop the zine around the same time. End of May, early June. If I can do it earlier, I'm gonna do it earlier. Still working on it, I just need to get like the right shots. I don't wanna put anything in there that I'm not stoked on. But I wanna thank you guys for liking, commenting, watching, and subscribing. If I can find my damn Oreos. Thank you.